you know, when you would look at the role of people and processes, I mean, I think we've kind of called that out, right? It's about technology and it's about people, um, you know, it's about customer at the center. So if you were to sort of, uh, you know, distinguish the two and perhaps go a little bit deeper into each, um, would you be able to sort of call out some of the aspects that you've experienced from a people standpoint and the role of processes in digital transformation? Uh, I think, you know, all of us agree that uh, for any transformation, not only digital, for any transformation, organization transformation across the board, uh, we have to start with, the, you know, the question why, right? Uh, if the purpose is unclear, then the transformation just, you know, there is, what was the objective of it? Um, and, and for any transformation, previously, now, and uh, in the future, has to start from a starting point. It originates from the customer because that is why we exist as an organization. Customer comes first. So any transformation has to, be, has to then reflect the customer journey, the customer value chain. So if, for example, if we are technically uh, uh, coming up with a product, whatever that product is, yeah, not we are not talking about digital or not, any product, that product needs to be purchased, sold, to someone so that's the end end customer right then we start looking uh, back from the uh, customer side right to the product origination and uh, uh, around uh, the journey and all along the journey now whilst we go along the journey obviously there are uh, variables that come out of it that may not be covered by any organizations it may be you know because our product is for example a banking product but uh, the customer requires more than a banking product the customer needs uh, legal assistance the, pro uh, the, the customer needs uh, uh, assistance from you know uh, a real estate agent or whatever it is regardless of what that product is now how do we then create a seamless uh, facilitated process for the customer. We originate a product, at the end, the customer needs to deliver on their own expectations, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and how do we then ensure that the entire journey is being transformed in a way if it's going to be digitally enabled? So from a people perspective, that mindset needs to change because a lot of uh, the organizations, uh, most organizations, always think about, this is what I think the product should be. We go and ask customers. We ask the customer, they want this product. So we create a product and that's it. And we push the product out in the market. Then we wonder why it failed. It failed because it only meets maybe two or three objectives, but it is not enabling for the customers, right? So our people need to understand that. So design of product, design of process needs to come first from the perspective of the customer and not only asking what they want it is empathizing with the journey that they are going through and that has many many issues along the way right so you put a product out to get for them to even buy the product they have to go through multiple you know steeple chases going up you know the hurdle going down the streams etc etc that organizations need to help facilitate that process uh, may it be digital may it be a, a process, may it be a system, may, may it be whatever. Uh, so transformation is not as simple as just saying, okay, you know, uh, we're gonna, you can do it online. You can, you know, do comparators, aggregators. It's not as simple as that. Right. Just because there's an aggregator, uh, you, the customers may not be able to uh, meet their own expectations because there are so many other considerations that they have to make. So we need to think uh, from their point of view. Thank you.